I'm really excited to introduce Toronto Gordon of Vegan Mob. I don't know if you all have been to Vegan Mob. I feel like it looks like an Apple store. Like it looks like you're giving out burgers for free. There's a huge line down the block. Um, it's such an amazing space. And one cool thing I learned about Toronto recently is that he is actually a famous rapper, apparently amazing at making vegan food and also making music. So without further ado, Toronto, please take it away. Thank you. Thank you very much, Lisa. Nice to meet you guys. I wanna introduce myself. My name is Toriano Gordon, and I wanna tell you a story about myself. Um, we started off with Vegan Mob in 2019. I, I was in grad school, I hit my wife up, I said, I want to start a vegan, I want to start a barbecue spot. She said, we can't do vegan barbecue. I said, why not? She said, we're vegans. We got to do vegan barbecue. I finally listened to her and this is what we got. So a little about myself. Here's my grandfather right here. He owned two restaurants in San Francisco. I grew up in, they were both five-star restaurants, French restaurants, Rula Peak and Napio Cafe. And that's where I got my real passion. And also my family from the South very well. I got a lot of passion from that. Here's my albums as she mentioned. Um, my first album came out in 2017, no, excuse me, 1997. I was 17 years old and in high school. And then I have a few more albums come out and that's a little bit of the involvement of Vegan Mob. Let's go to the next. Well, Vegan Mob, since we started, we've been in Hella Media. The first year we were in Eaters SF. We're also in the San Francisco Chronicle. That was very dope to me because I'm from San Francisco and I was on the front cover. That was really cool. Um, we're in the Guardian, the UK edition. We've been in USA Today for the top 10 best barbecue, vegan barbecue spots in the United States, food and wine, veg out, and many more. With that came a bunch of celebrities. We're, we're like the celebrities' favorite vegan restaurant. Just a couple of weeks ago, we had Zendaya pop up with her soon to be husband, Tom Holland, Kaylani, Sean Livingston, and Danny Glover, who hits me up every other week, asking me to cut the line, and Lars, and many more celebrities. Our key differences is the social media. Our social media has been growing very quickly since the start. When we started this um, pitch, it was at 125,000 followers. Just last week, it was at 127,000 followers. If you go right now, it's at 130,000 followers. The unique thing about Vegan Mob is our food. People can't believe it's vegan. I mean, people always hit me up like, is this really vegan? Man, the brand experience, that's one of my favorite things. Um, if you ask about brands, major brands in the Bay Area, you'll hear cookies, you'll hear dope air, and you'll hear Vegan Mob. The similarities of these brands is it's all hip hop culture. They're all rappers, but I'm the only brand that's a restaurant. Our five-year growth strategy, we plan to be in 10 key cities across the United States, starting with here in California, with San Francisco, of course, Oakland already, LA, and Sacramento. Then we're going to move down to Philly, Brooklyn, New Orleans, Atlanta, Dallas, and Las Vegas. Right now, we are about $7 million in since we started in 2019, doing 1 million in six months and 2.4, and then on a run rate of 4.4 million this year. And our projected income over the next to 2026 will be 64 million. Our team started with me at, at the top of the lineup, Toriano Gordon, the CEO, my advisor, senior advisor, Chef Chu from Veg Hub and the founder of Something Better Foods. We got Tom Coughlin. Um, he helps me in business scaling strategy and numbers. Then we got my HR, Morgan Staley, and we got my mentor, Evan Kandera, who is the founder and owner of Senior Seasig, one of the most popular um, food trucks in the Bay Area. Then we got coming in final with my financial team, Vine Solutions, Kitchen Sink. It's a very important to have a good financial team and they're great. They're actually a restaurant group and there's about 10 to 15 of us in that restaurant group. And I'm proud to say that they're backing us. Our future, the future is with Vegan Mob. The immediate next steps is to open a location in LA, partnered with Danny Glover. It's not about the money, it's about the face. And when he comes with us, that's gonna blow us up even stronger in the media. Um, our ROI, we plan IPO by 2023. Right now we have $648, raised, $648,000, excuse me, raised on WeFunder. If you wanna join us today, you can go on WeFunder right now. If you wanna become a partner, holler at us after this.
It's the mob. Pull up on us, baby. That was incredible. Um, thank, you thank you so much. We now have a couple minutes for our investors. So Allie and Adrian would like to invite you all up to the virtual stage. Uh, um, Toriano, thank you. I think that was one of the most energetic um, and authentically energetic presentations. So I'm hoping that you're getting that feedback from other people, but um, you just, you show up and you grab the room. So um, I'm guessing that's going to continue to work well for you as you move forward. Okay. Um, one of the questions I always like to start with is what do you see as your biggest challenge? Like what's the thing that's keeping you up at night right now in terms of like moving towards this vision? Um, and then the second one would be what's the piece that you're most proud of in terms of either the impact that you're having and changing the market or the opportunities for staff and your team um, or, or otherwise. So that's my that's my two. <laughs> Take your pick. I could go with the first one as the first one. Um, well, I would say our challenges would be that um, I want to do a lot of focus on my 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 strong points which is marketing and creativity and and just bringing in just bringing in like the the money and just and also uh building the morale like that's that's my strong points but I get caught up in a lot of the business and so for me my main thing is like to to get funding is to bring in that that COO like that person who can who can kind of like be me and 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 just just run the business and um i also plan that hr person i have on right there i plan to even give her an even stronger um part in the business because i really think that's very important um that's that's a challenge the second question is um you know with, with my team i feel like the community like i i, I employ about 40 40 people in, in in most of the black and brown community and our challenges we're, we're supposedly in COVID, you know, we started off, but we killed it. We did 2.4 million and um, we just changed up our motto. We did deliveries, we brought people in and, 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 and I feel like that I just, I just flow with the punches and, and, and adapt it to the environment. I have to echo Ali's comments, just lo lo love your passion and energy. And I, I think you're onto something really interesting here. Um, in, in terms of insight, as you expand um, to different locations, there is a lot of capital expenditures needed to go into new cities. So um, looking into a hub and spoke model might make a lot of sense where every time you go in a city, there's kind of your home base and then you can spoke out from there. I think just looking at the food trucks, I think that naturally gravitates to a hub and spoke model. So thank you for your questions. Thank you, Toriano, for an amazing presentation.